Hello, my name is Kathleen Carlson. Welcome to Vocal Medicine. Today I'd like to talk about a chant to Saraswati. So Saraswati is the goddess who is the goddess for music, for art, for learning, for knowledge in the Eastern tradition, Sanatana, Dharma, or as we call it in the West, Hinduism. So there are many, many legends about the goddesses and the gods, and I really, I really love learning about them through those legends. It's like, it's like Jesus teaching through parables. So this is one of my favorite. There was a young man who was born to a Brahmin priest, and the Brahmin priest was a very successful orator. So in those days, being an orator was like being a celebrity, like being a movie star, because they didn't have TV, and they didn't have radio, and they didn't have recordings. So someone who could tell a great story, who could, who could recite the poetry of Sanskrit literature, of all the sacred texts, was really, uh, was really a hero. So his father was very famous uh, at oration, but the son was considered a little dull. Like he, he had a very great heart, but he wasn't much for academics and learning. And in fact, to the point that his father decided it really wasn't worth educating him. And so he was left at home to do menial labor, um, which was you know, like carrying the water, you know, getting water from the river, helping to cook the food, stoking the fire, you know, those kinds of things. But as a very good hearted young man, he did all of these things cheerfully. And one day he went down to the river. And there he saw a young woman who appeared to be in distress. And he thought maybe her family had abandoned her, or something had happened to her, there had been crimes committed against her. And so he took pity on this young woman and said to her, you know, come home with me, and I will give you a meal and give you water and um, assist you. So he brings the young woman home, he feeds her a nice meal and is very congenial. And when she leaves, As she goes out the door, she turns to him, and she touches her finger to his lips. And from that moment, he could speak the most beautiful Sanskrit poetry, and he became an even more famous orator than his father. And of course, the young woman was Saraswati in disguise, so very much like a fairy tale. Um, But I just thought that was the sweetest story. So this chant to Saraswati is Om I'm Saraswati. I'm is the seed syllable for Saraswati, also is a counterpart to Om. So A I M. Sometimes you see it like A E E M. You know, there's different ways that the original um, script is translated into English. So the sound is more like I'm. So Om I'm Saraswati. Mahadevi, the greatest form of God, Devi in feminine form. So Devi, feminine, Mahadevi. Thank you. Saraswati, oh my Saraswati, Mahadevi Saraswati.
Thanks for joining today for the story of Saraswati, goddess of knowledge, music, and art. Have a beautiful day. Please do like and subscribe. Namaste.